all right guys welcome to and welcome back so today's video is me learning my serger machine um I make a lot of mistakes in this video. I'm literally figuring it out and recording me figuring it out. This is not a how to thread a serger video, although that is some of what I'm doing in here, but you won't be able to see it because I use the flashlight of my phone to see down in the serger. So you can't record with the flashlight on. She fixed it and she said, and I just haven't touched it since. So yeah, it works. Okay, so as I was saying, that's the pedal. And so when I push the pedal and it's plugged in, it has the little, what is that called? What goes into the wall? It has this here. It's called a tiny serger. Okay, so this is exactly as I got it. And as you can see right here, the thread was not in the tension bar. So that could be why um, she was having problems out of it. This is her fabric right here and everything. I felt like I was in over my head with the serger. I think it's the name sounds intense and all the thread that's being used first thing he said was i know it could be a little intimidating because you know it could take your finger off and i'm like can it how can it do that so i made a pair of pants last night for the first time i'm trying to find a piece of fabric that i can run through there real quick it would be nice if i surged something that i already have hold on one second Okay, guys, so I just want to say today the Lord has really showed up and showed out. I am now an owner of a serger. For those people who are um, into the... Not everybody knows what a serger is. But it's um, if you want to have professional-looking clothing, this is what you're going to need. And it came already threaded. So that took away that burden of me trying to figure that out. Um... And it's enough thread where I can learn how to really use it and do some projects before I have to thread it again. I mean, you know, it can't be that hard, right? It has the little stuff right here that walks you through it. Um, I was scared for a minute there because when I plugged it into the wall, there was no light that came on. But I was like, okay. It was an older woman that I got it from. I'm like, maybe she just hasn't changed the light bulb. Because, you know, you when you buy anything from the garage sales, thrift stores, um, although at the thrift store, they do have a place where you can plug it in and try it. But it's like you're buying it as it is. You know, if it wasn't working, all I would have done was taken it to a place to get it looked at. Um, because I'm not paying $400 for a serger. I'm just not. Not right now. Not until I actually... I'm not. <laughs> this is going to be my baby for a long time. So anyway, I just, I'm so excited about it that I had to share with you guys the day I got it. I have videos coming, you guys. Last night I made some pants. Um, I've made several garments that I haven't uploaded. I've just been uh, honing in on my craft, so. So this is a clip of um, an outfit that I made with a serger. So I've made multiple videos and I'm trying to, um, I was trying to do one. I, I didn't watch any videos on sergers. I just wanted to hurry up and see if it worked, how it worked. Um, I plugged it in and like I said, the light didn't come on. It kind of scared me. And then I was like, you know what? The light bulb probably went out and it kept working and she didn't see no need to change the light bulb. Because that's something I would do. You know what I mean? Um, I would wait around to change the change everything, smoke detector battery, all that. You shouldn't, but sometimes we procrastinate. So I turned it on with Huh? I turned it on without watching any Oh my gosh. So I turned it on without watching any videos and now my um that's crazy so now i so i put the fabric in there and the fabric was overlapping towards here so not realizing that you have to have more control over the fabric or else it's going to intertwine so i guess i could keep going to see if it's i don't want to i don't want to have to thread the machine 
So I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. You see that? I got fabric intertwined because I didn't watch any videos on it. I just put some fabric in the machine. There we go. So again, I don't know if you can see that, but this right here is showing that it's outside of the tension bar. Mess it up to where I have to thread it again because it came threaded and I don't, I don't know if I know how to could figure that out. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go through with a light fabric. No, as you watch, see how the surgery works. Is some sweets in there. I thought there was a cookie in there. Now I'm about to eat the little caramel crisp that I bought. Oh Lord, you got a stash. I do. Alright, so, so I'm gonna use this little fabric here. I'm gonna fold it up. And we're gonna lift up the presser foot. And hopefully we don't have to thread it again. We're gonna put be very mindful that that fabric does not go over that little thing. So the presser foot is back here. So now I'm just going to send it on through. just slid right on out we're gonna send it on through again lift up the presser foot I probably cut some thread somewhere just slid right on out again so now I got to watch videos on how to thread the serger period I have to because it wasn't doing that at first this is what it was what it was given at first surged okay um Let me watch some videos. Okay, so I thought this was a specific type of, make sure I get y'all straight. I thought this was a specific type of thread. This is just regular thread. My scissors are underneath, I mean my, yeah. So I'm gonna take those out. And I'm going to select three different types of thread. <sighs> let's do yellow, let's do green, and let's do purple. Is that the Lakers colors? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, now let's put the tops on there. I believe I'm going to figure out how to so thread a serger today. I believe it. Okay, maybe not this purple one. This purple one doesn't have the flexibility of the others. So we'll go with a blue. Yellow and blue make green, right? Right? Okay, and I, I don't have the patience to... No, I do have the patience. to try to figure out where that was, but I got it. We're there. All right, so now those are our new threads and we're gonna cut these other ones. I'm gonna turn it around because now we need to remove, remove, and remove, okay? Out with the old, in with the no. Oh, she had this under one of them. So I'm going to save this because it's like a buffer 
I guess if one of them's not, maybe it's some, okay. It's under those two. So I need to figure out which one is missing that. That has it, this doesn't have it. So now we're gonna put that back where we had it because evidently it served a purpose. All right. So, now what's next? Let me look at my tutorial. Okay, so now they are suggested because this didn't come with um, instructions. So he said, take the blue. Well, he said, take the one that's over here. You know how you, they're over here. This one that's closest to this knob. That just happens to be our blue one. Let me turn this down so that I don't. Okay, and then he said, take the blue one and we're putting it through this loop here. Can y'all see? And then down through there. Let me pause the video. Okay, because I'm, I'm moving kind of slow. Okay, so he put it through. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that. There's a... Looks like a large paper clip. All right, so we're gonna put that through there. We got the blue through there, now what do we do? Then he's taking it through here. Hold on, let me, let me go back a little bit. Now he's taking it through this first one. And I see where they got their uh, tweezers. And now he's taking it through. Hold on. Mine's ain't spinning now. I need mine to spin and release a little bit more. There we go. So now he's putting it behind this little bar here. Which, there is no way to get that through that bar. That bar is tight. Turns out it slides right in. You don't need any tools. Just put it through the top. That bar is snug as a bug. Okay, it went through. Hmm. So this little bar right here, like literally I didn't think thread could fit through there, but apparently it can. Okay, so now after getting it through there, yeah, I need a light bulb down in there. I'm gonna have to find out, look up a video on how to um, change the light bulb. So now they're putting it through this one right here. Let me see if y'all can get a little closer. There's no way you can see it because I can barely see it because again, there's no light there. But there's a little, little notch right there. If I move the camera out of the light, you see that? You're staring at it. This right here. Put the thread through that. Let's try it and see if we can do it. Okay, so that's position there. Let me go back a little bit, see how they, she put that through there, now where is she putting it? Or he, I'm sorry, I moved y'all out the way. So now I'm gonna take my tweezers. How did they thread that? Huh. I'm gonna put it through there. I'm gonna do this off camera, it's gonna take too long. Okay guys, so I have my serger threaded. <sighs> I'm so nervous. I don't like wasting money and I really hope that I didn't buy something that I you know, I don't mind spending money on maintenance or whatnot. I just don't want to have to, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to be got, okay? All right, so now I'm going to lift up my presser foot and leave that right there. And we're going to see if it, if I threaded it correctly. I like my little 
thing, my little pump, my foot presser to be on the floor. So I'm going to leave it on the floor. Okay, something's wrong. I guess I got to... I don't know. Can I just slide it out? How does this work? Okay, so I did thread it correctly. But why, why am I experiencing this? What is this? Y'all see that? It's, it's, that's good. I probably wasn't guiding it through enough. What do I mean by that? I probably, because it said you had to guide it through, so. I may have been lax today. Like, okay, it's coming undone again. I'm gonna figure it out. I just don't understand how where you clip at when you're done. I don't understand that part. So anyway, so this is what which is very professional. If I can just figure out what I'm doing wrong. I don't wanna just yank it out. There we go, there we go. Work with me, work with me. I'm gonna clip it there. And we're gonna run it through again. There we go. So, at least it came out, but that blue thread is not moving. That blue thread was giving me trouble when I first started. Um, yeah, that blue thread is not budging. And it's very tight. Huh. All right, let me figure this out, y'all. What in the world is going on back there? Jeez. Okay, so it was definitely the problem. At least I threaded it correctly. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it up the other way because it's getting caught in that little thing. All right. So now I'm going to pull this through here. Oop, did I? I unthreaded it. Uh, uh. All right, let me pull. Okay. So now it's nice and smooth like the rest of them. But now I got to go back through and thread that. And I don't know if I can do that or if I have to undo all of them. I mean, because that was the first step I did was the first thread. So I don't know, but we got progress, y'all. I learned how to thread a serger today. I bought a serger today and I learned how to thread a serger, serger today.
Okay, guys, so we are ready to try this again. This tripod has had it. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's just me. Okay. I'm trying to... So it doesn't tip over. All right, so... I've rethreaded it. It was... um. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So I forgot to put, because, you know, by this time, you know, after doing one and two, by the time I got to the third one, I just did it without waiting on the instructions, and I forgot to put it through the tension bar. So I had to redo that. Um, and I also went ahead and redid all three threads for more practice, and because I was finding it very difficult to do the first step <laughs> while the other two were intact. So there's a reason why it's the first step. And it's the most challenging, I find. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what our stitching turns out. Uh, right now, it looks like all of my tension numbers are on five. Let me bring that. I'm going to put them all on five, make sure they're all on five. Because who knows, maybe she, um, the previous owner just didn't, just didn't, let me see, hold on. So this is what I'm changing. But as you can see, there's no five. And it's like, it's five where the dot is, but it's not, it's like a, the bar, you know, the, like the groove. Should I have it there where the dot is or should I have it where the groove is? We're going to have it where the groove is. No, we're going to have it where the dot is. All right. Let's go ahead and reposition you guys. So you can see as I'm seeing. And we're just going to lift this presser foot up. And lightly place it right there. You know what? I want to double it. I'm going to have to do some research on surges. I want to fold it up. That's what I mean. So, so I'm not just putting surging marks on loose fabric. Like I want to actually see. Anyway, let me just do it. So this is what we have here. Let me bring y'all back. So this is what we have here. Not bad for a first time, right? I don't know what was going on there. It looks like the blue has gotten, the blue is not moving again. See, you can see how these are like easy to pull, but that blue gets stubborn after a while. Let me see. Let me turn it around. Now, how did that happen? How did the blue thread get underneath there? That's crazy. All right. Hopefully, I don't have to redo it. Hopefully, the blue. Okay. Let me just pull it. All right. So, now I'm going to clip it. We're going to try it again since I straightened out the blue. Okay, so I realized that the blue thread had snapped. Everything was going good. The blue thread has snapped. So I'm going to try my hardest to see if I can, again, do all the process over. Um, not all the process over, but do the first step without undoing the other two. I'm just going to see if I can do that. If not, I may have to change the thread, the blue thread. I'm going to change the blue thread right now. All right, so I have other things that I need to tend to um, today. So.
So I, I, I put a different color thread in there. I threaded it and I did the first step last. So we're gonna see if I if it can operate with the first step being last. Everything is, all the things are behind the tension bar like it's supposed to. Um, yeah. I just find that some sometimes you just gotta change the thread because certain threads don't. this I, I really wish I knew how to how to be finished with it like what what are, what are we clipping here anyway so this is perfect the serger works um, I just had to figure out the threading just like I got to figure out everything else, you know, how, what makes it, what makes it go. Oh, I'm not even showing y'all. I'm sorry. So this is what I searched. This is what you want. You want it to look professional. Okay. Professional. So, and I say that and some people, they be like, girl, that ain't professional. It has got so many flaws, but it looks professional to me. So, um, Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It works. And I learned how to thread it. I just, that finishing thing, like what, what exactly are we cutting? I don't see the green thread hanging out. You see how you see the, the burgundy or the maroon, the yellow, but where's the green thread? Did I cut it? Did I mess it up? I'm going to put the surge, I'm going to put it through the fabric through one more time just to figure out where is the green thread? Why come it's not, you know, hanging out like that? I guess I shouldn't resurge what I've already surged. Bless you. Bless me. Y'all yeah, know what I'm, I mean. Okay, so I was trying to research what I already searched, which doesn't make any sense. Um, I found the green thread, though. That was the objective. Now, let me see. Where is this extra maroon thread coming from? lightly there we go just like with the sewing machine you're only supposed to have so many threads just hanging out the threading from the um, from the bobbin and the threading from the needle so I was just trying to figure out where where is all the threading coming from There we go. Let me lift this up. That yellow is, is tough in there. What's up, yellow? There we go. I don't know why the yellow is so stiff, but everything seems to be in working order. I just want to run it through one more time, y'all. I just want to run it through one more time. The presser, this presser foot is all the way back there. I mean, and it's a tiny machine, so it, you would think it wouldn't matter, but it doesn't seem like it's in a convenient spot. 
Then again, it's the same place in the sewing machine. So just gonna run it through. Okay, so I'm not seeing the maroon thread. which is why it didn't work. If all three threads aren't activated, it's not gonna work. I know that. All right, so now I'm just trying to look in there, but I have to take you guys off because I use the flashlight from my phone and I can't record when the flashlight's on.